G'day YouTube, one MJ here. First of all, I'd like to apologise for not uh, having any videos for the last week. I had quite a busy week. I had a house inspection. I had a camping trip with some of my friends over the weekend. And yeah, just had absolutely no time to post any videos. And I do apologise for that, but we'll get back to regular videos. I am going to aim for daily videos, but sometimes, you know, work and life might get in the way. I'm not a full-time uh, YouTube personality at the moment. That's something I might aspire to be in the future. But anyway, let's get back to the crypto market. So here's a good place to start. The last week, Bitcoin and basically the whole market really has kind of been on a downward slide. Now some things are sort of going up a little bit. Um, Synthetics Network, uh, Kyber Network, a lot of the DeFi projects have sort of been going up, but then they go down a little, a little bit as well. But it's basically been something that's kind of been on the downward slide for quite some time. Uh, in general and we'll go over and have a look at the markets. So this is my uh, graph that I've uh, had for the long term So we can see that we've been in a downward trend for yeah since back in uh, 2017 December January 2018 it's just been going down now. There's been some fluctuations in it But this has been the average price range somewhere between sort of 6,000 and 8,000 has been the average price range We've uh, been above it. We've dipped below it, but on average, this is where we've sat mainly. Sorry, excuse me, my voice is going there. But what I want to do is bring us in and have a look here. As we can see, we have been traveling in here for a little while. So we had this big massive dump uh, back in March. Uh, and then we've made our way up. And this was a pretty decent rally. And then we've kind of traded sideways, I guess, for a little while. And as you can see, since about the 1st of June, we've actually been... Uh, going downward slightly now I did mention this in one of my other videos I'll just zoom in here a bit I'm really watching the 200 day moving average this is my uh, real kind of point of reference along with the top of this average point so about 8200 and down to about 6100 that's been the average price range of Bitcoin for over two years now so this is what I'm keeping an eye on now I personally think we're going to continue to slide down a little bit and again, I'm really watching for the 200 day moving average. I believe this is where Bitcoin uh, is going to uh, most likely meet somewhere over around about here, I guess. Let's say maybe July, even sort of August, September, moving towards that. I think we're going to trade up and down and sideways for a while. And then we're going to hit the 200 day moving average. And then my prediction is that we will bounce from there. A lot of people have got really excited about the halving and I, I'm one of those people. I'm really excited about the halving. But if you look at previous markets, it's not like the halving happens and Bitcoin just goes parabolic straight after. It can take quite some time. So we're only about six weeks after the halving. So we've still got quite a long ways to go before our next eventual sort of bull market. A lot of people are predicting sort of about December 2021 is when they think that sort of the peak of the next bull run will happen. Uh, my personal opinion is I think it's going to run a little bit later. I think the... Bitcoin uh, boom cycles and bust cycles are going to extend out a little bit and I do think that there is uh, Some manipulation going on. It's just interesting. There's been so many stories about you know all this uh, Institutional money getting into Bitcoin now and back in you know late 2017 if there was any news about anything big in crypto Everything would pump but it would just be off its absolute head but at the moment, that's not happening. And there's all these big players coming in, you know, Grayscale, institutional buyers, PayPal's now selling, Venmo's getting involved. Even here in Australia, you can now buy Bitcoin at your local uh, post office and things like that. And usually, again, in a bear market, those kind of things would, you know, make the prices sort of soar. At least 2017, the late part of 2017, that's exactly the way it was. But we're not quite in that complete euphoric stage at the moment, I suppose. We're still just, you know, hopefully at the beginnings of the next bull run. But again, my prediction is, you know, we've pumped up quite here and that was quite a good pump. I think we're going to sell off again some. And I am just watching for this 200 day moving average to see... Uh, if the price is going to bounce off it and I am also waiting to see if the price just kind of stays in this even though it's a downward uh, trough our lows continue to get higher and they have for quite some time so this was our low this was our low this was our low and it's bumped off this every single time it's hit it 
did kind of wick just below uh, that, but basically it's bumped off it. So my yeah my prediction is I think the 200 day moving average, and if we lose the 200 day moving average, and somewhere over here it drops below the 200 day moving average, then I'll be looking to see uh, if it will go below 8,200. If it goes below that and the 200 day moving average, I'll be looking for the 200 uh, weekly moving average and then the 200 uh, monthly moving average as well to see if it uses those as support. But my real kind of uh, worry spot, I guess, would be around here, around the $6,100 mark. If Bitcoin were to go below that, uh, I would definitely be concerned. Not that I think it's going to do that. I don't think it's going to do that at all. And again, I really believe it's the 200-day moving average that it's probably going to bounce off. Uh, and I think a lot of you know the big institutions that are in are probably they are playing a part in the manipulation of the market at the moment. They want to keep Bitcoin as low as possible so they can accumulate as much as they possibly can before it goes on its next run. So again. 200 day moving average if that doesn't hold then i'll be looking for the 200 weekly moving average and if that doesn't hold i'll be looking for the 200 monthly moving average but really i would be i'd start to get a little bit concerned if it went under the eight thousand two hundred dollar mark not too much but definitely if we went below the six thousand one hundred dollar mark i would have grave concerns for bitcoin but again this isn't a pessimistic uh, video, video, vlog, whatever you want to call it, and, and I don't want people to think that I'm pessimistic about Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies in general because I'm not. Uh, I am uh, super bullish on them, but that doesn't mean we won't feel some more pain. Uh, just because you know we've pumped up here, as we can see, if we follow this line, there still uh, is every chance that we could be down around the five thousand dollar mark as of this point. There you go. We could be down around five thousand, and we'd still be in an upward trend just a very slow uh, elongated upward trend but anyway we'll keep an eye out for that and we'll see what happens just a quick video for me today and I'll try and uh, yeah get to daily posts and come up with some uh, better material again uh, if you like what I do please like and subscribe and leave any comments again if there's things you think I can do that would uh, better my channel please let me know new to this space uh, at least the youtubing part anyway uh, yeah we'll see how we go all right Thanks very much. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. And I'll catch you next time.